Aerial views provided to you by our APN Sports Blimp, high atop the Valley of the Sun. As you look down on downtown Phoenix, the home of the Arizona Diamondbacks, Chase Field. Our national pastime is coming up next. It's the MSBL World Series. We got liftoff, a high, deep drive into right field, and that ball is gone. The 20th Annual Men's Senior Baseball League's World Series is on the air, and today the Comox Canadians take on Rit Music out of Michigan. And we're from the winter home of the Anaheim Angels Tempe Diablo Stadium, renovated last year, beautiful facilities. And we'd like to welcome you into baseball here on APN Sports. My name is Jeff Lauer. You see the Canadians warming up down the left field line and some of the star players, Steve Cochran, 21, and number 29, Keith Dolman. And the infamous number 11, Lane Parker. He's very shy of the camera. And a couple of the other players, Dave Bennett. And we'll see the power hitting Glenn Davis. Who parked 49 home runs a couple of years ago. And the always dangerous Dennis Barna. Mike Fiorenzo will tow the rubber for Rip Music here today. He'll be going up against the manager of Comox, Randy Inns. The two teams are set to go. Both teams come in with a record of one and two and coming out of the 35 and over Central Division Two. And it was a tough day for Michigan yesterday. They gave up 48 runs and they have given up 60 runs through their first three games. It's the MSBL World Series, and it's all coming up next on the Arizona Play-by-Play -play Network. Final instructions being given to the Comax Canadians. They are led by, of course, Steve Walton. We'd like to thank Steve for setting things up with us, and uh, we'll see Steve later on. He did not make the starting lineup here today. And Rit Music will be facing the right-hander, Randy Inns, who is also, as I mentioned earlier, the manager of the Comox Canadians. Good right-handed pitcher, and the Canadians have just taken the field here at Tempe Diablo Stadium. Now, the left side of the field's gonna be a bit on the dark side. They've got one of the main light standards is completely out, uh, just uh, behind the third base dugout. So everything on the left side of the field, it's gonna be maybe a tad dark. So we're ready for the first pitch. And it's outside for a ball and this game is underway. Doing the catching is Keith Dolman. Very rarely do you, you see a left-handed catcher, but you're gonna see one here tonight. Now the pitch and here is a bouncing ball that is hit to the second baseman, Glenn Davis. He's up and throwing on to first base and that's out number one. The first baseman is Dave Bennett. He gets a start, you get a look at Glenn Davis. So Colin Maynon is retired. And here is Frank Zamarippa, and he rips one into left field, a base hit. First hit of the ball game. Second hitter of the contest. And so Rip Music out of the state of Michigan. And now the third place hitter and center fielder for Rip Music is Paul Militello. We'll be giving you some trivia questions throughout the contest. We're going to challenge your baseball knowledge as this game unfolds. And uh, certainly a great night for baseball. Maybe a little bit on the cool side. Game time temperature down around the... Now, we were in the 70s today, but I would imagine down on the field... You're probably looking at high 60s right now. Here's the pitch. And here's a ground ball to the shortstop. Took a bad hop, but he stays with it. 
And here's the throw to first, and he got his man. Outstanding job. Runner moves up into scoring position in Zamaripa, but a really nice job by the shortstop, Rod Wisner. And there's two down, and here's Kurt Postma. Postma, the cleanup hitter for Rip Music, and he takes inside a ball. Tough day yesterday for this team. This is, I mentioned, I mentioned this at the top of the broadcast. Both teams won in the, in the opening game of the tournament, or opening day of the tournament. Rip Music beat the Ventura Dodgers 15-12. Here's a bomb hit out into deep left center field. It's going to roll to the warning track, and that is going to score the game's first run. An RBI double for Kurt Postma. And Rip Music out of Michigan leads it one to nothing with Chris Cook coming up the third baseman. The Canadians beat the Aztecs seven to five. That was back on uh, Monday. But then yesterday on Tuesday, October, th- uh, I think this was uh, actually, okay, that was Monday. And then Tuesday's scores. Boy, it was a tough day for Rip Music. They lose 23-3 to Utah and 25-13 to Redwood, the Redwood Pioneers. There's a swing and a miss, and the inning is over. Good pitch. As Enns gets the strikeout, he gives up two hits and a run. And at the end of a half an inning of play, it's Michigan 1. The Comox Canadians coming up. Tempe Diablo Stadium. This is the home of the 2002 world champion Anaheim Angels. Mike Fiorenzo, the starting pitcher for Rip Music. He'll be facing Tate, Davis, and Dolman. Good crowd here on hand. There is a a lot of people who came in from our good friends from the north to attend today's game. And first pitch high and tight on Byron Tate. The starting third baseman for the Canadians, and he takes a pitch that was about a foot off the outside corner for a strike, and it is one and one. Tate Davis Dolman, McCarty Barna Hillock, Grimmard, Weisner, Parker, and DeWitt. That's the starting lineup for the Canadians here tonight. And you get a look at Glenn Davis on deck. Got to see that big powerful swing in the pregame show. There's a curveball that is just inside, and the count is two and one on the leadoff hitter. Ready with the next pitch, and a swing and a chopper foul, evening the count on the leadoff hitter at two balls, two strikes. Next delivery is lifted in the air into left center field. The center fielder drifts back and makes the catch. That's Militello, and that's the first out of the bottom half of the first inning. So one up and one down for the Canadians, and now the batter is going to be second baseman Glenn Davis. He bunts one third base side, and it's going to roll foul. Picked up by the third baseman Chris Cook. Defensively, they got Pat Cook at first base, Kruger at second. The shortstop is Zamaripa. The third baseman is Chris Cook. Left center and right, it is Colin Maynard. Militello and Kenny Foreman. Chuck Padrone is the catcher, Zeke, and Mike Fiorenzo is the starting pitcher here today. Our game today is brought to you by the MSBL World Series. Here's a drive into deep right field. Kenny Foreman drifts back. Oh, hello, it is Christmas in November. Kenny Foreman with a spectacular catch out in right field, and there's two down in the inning. He just reached up. The ball just found that glove almost like there was a magnet. And so with two down, here's third-place hitter Keith Dolman. First pitch swinging, and he fouls one into the dugout.
Goldman, one of the top hitters on the field here tonight. Hits for average, drives in runs, scores a lot of runs, extra base hits, the whole package here. That's why he's in that third position. We're in the bottom of the first inning, Michigan, with a 1-0 lead over the Canadians, and here's a long fly ball, deep left field, but caught in a 1-2-3 inning for Mike Fiorenzo and the Michigan Ball Club. And at the end of one, it's Michigan one, the Canadians nothing. You're watching the 20th annual MSBL World Series on APN Sports. And you, here's the fan club for the Canadians. Making a lot of noise here at the ballpark. Good crowd here on hand. So we go to the top of the second inning. It will be 6-7.